evening, everybody. It's Crafty of Crafty Creations, LLC, uh, also known as Tanisha. And I just wanted to show you guys um, what our new kit has in it. It's actually the same kit, improved. And I wanted to show you some really fun things that you can do with the uh, wooden silhouettes that come in the uh, wreath creation kit that we offer on our website www.craftt, don't forget that T, crafttcreations.com. The site is up and running. The store is uh, open. Uh, the site's a little generic right now. Andrew, our IT guy, is working very, very hard to get it all pretty uh, and make it look fancy, but it is operational at this point, and you can go online and order either of the two kits that we have to offer, the Complete Wreath Kit, or the two silhouette kit. So the new kit, um, not necessarily the new kit, the old kit renewed, let me put it that way, now comes with a uh, the wooden silhouette head, but it is now tempered on both sides. If you guys remember, those of you that got the first kit, it was only tempered on one side and the other side was a little bit rough. Um, you're not able to paint on that rough side. So the silhouette was only able to face one direction. Uh, folks were asking for a left-facing um, silhouette. And what we did was just make it so that you can, you can um, use it either way. You can turn it to the right or you can turn it to the left and you can paint both sides. Now, as a result of now tempering both sides of our of our wooden silhouette heads, we have replaced the wire wreath form with this plastic wreath form, which we thought would be okay, even though it's not quite as sturdy maybe as the wire wreath form. Um, it's utilized on the back of your, of your plastic circle that comes in your kit. Um, and it can be glued to your plastic circle. You don't have to use the zip ties if you use the plastic form. And since this is just utilized to hang the wreath, um, we thought this would be okay. So we opted to do the plastic wreath form and double side the wooden silhouette so that you all that are making wreaths can turn the silhouette either direction that you choose depending on your creation. Um, we're able to keep the kit still $10 because we upgraded our wooden head, but we did a slight downgrade to our wire wreath form. So this is what the new complete wreath kit contains. A two-sided wooden silhouette head, a plastic wreath form, still your corrugated plastic circle, we still include your zip ties, although you may or may not need them, depending on whether or not you choose to glue the plastic wreath form or not. Now, the two silhouette kit comes with two two-sided wooden silhouettes, just like it did before, but they are also tempered on both sides. Hi there. So now that our customers are receiving their kits, finally, we were very slow in getting those out. We've ironed out a lot of the wrinkles, uh, fixed a lot of the issues. Um, post office is still a little bit slow right now, but we have got those orders out the door and most have received their kits or are still receiving them. And uh, we have worked out quite a few of the bugs and kinks. But what I wanted to show you is what you can do with those uh, wooden wreath forms. Uh, now that everyone is getting their kits and our store is back opened, I wanted to show you some of the things that you can do with these uh, wooden heads. Now, the first thing I recommend uh, is that you paint it. Now, these are just varying shades of brown. And these are all painted uh, different colors. And what I utilize to paint these is spray paint. Simply spray paint. I th This is the inexpensive, I think it's $3.87 at Walmart. Um, nothing fancy, just regular old 
spray paint is what I use. Now, I will tell you, I usually, um, of course, I do this out in the garage or on the back patio, depending on the weather, but I just lay something down to cover the surface of what I'm painting, put the silhouette wreath form um, on whatever the surface is, and spray paint it. Usually, uh, one good coat, and this is what my silhouette turns out like. I also add a coat of clear acrylic. Also, uh, over with the spray paint. I think this probably came from Walmart. Um, and after I have painted the silhouette, um, and you may want to do this also even after you have added your uh, lipstick color and your eyelash color or whatever else you designed and drew on the head. A coat of acrylic, um, I don't know, just kind of weatherproofs it, gives it a little gloss and just helps it look a lot more finished and neat. I don't think it's absolutely, absolutely necessary that you seal them with the clear acrylic, but I think it makes it look a little bit nicer on the final finished product. Now, the really fun thing that I want to show you is this. You can glitter these silhouette heads. I'm going to walk you step by step through that process. All right, so I'm going to walk you through the process of how to glitter your wooden, uh, wooden silhouette heads that come in our wreath kits. Um, the way I do it, that just kind of cuts down on mess with the glitter is by placing the uh, wooden head in a box. That's the first thing I do because it kind of keeps all of my glitter, all of my glitter contained. So let me do it that way. I put my uh, silhouette head in a box and the first thing I do is spray it with spray adhesive. This uh, I got at, uh, oh, probably Walmart, my favorite store. Uh, and you just want to coat your silhouette head with the spray acrylic. Now, normally this would be done out in my garage because the fumes get a little strong, especially with the spray paint. But you want to coat your head pretty heavily. with the spray adhesive. And then I use uh, a container of glitter. This is purple, my favorite color. And I just go to town sprinkling. And I layer it on there pretty good. I mean, I just try to cover it. I probably waste more glitter than I use, but you know how glitter goes. But this just allows your glitter to all kind of stay in one spot so that you don't end up with glitter all over your floor. So I do that, just like that, and I let it sit a little bit. And normally I would let this sit in the box a little bit longer than what I'm doing right now. I just wanna show y'all what I do. And then I take, oops, I just scraped a little bit of my glitter off. Cover that right back up. Then I take my silhouette, Tap off the excess, and as you can see, there's the purple silhouette, and then I let it let it dry all the way, of course, and that's when, after that sets for a while and the um, adhesive has had time to dry, that's when I add the coat of the clear acrylic. After this is dried, then I'm gonna take the clear acrylic and I'm not gonna do this completely, y'all, because it's not quite dry and it smells really bad and I'm inside. But you just spray this with a coat of acrylic all over and that sets your glitter and you end up with, we'll move that over there, with this finished product. That is how you glitter your entire 
uh, silhouette head. So you can glitter them with the adhesive and glitter, or you can just simply spray paint with any color of spray paint that you choose. Uh, just regular old spray paint. And then you want to make sure you seal it with a coat of, of the uh, acrylic. So that's one of the fun things you can do with your um, silhouettes that come in your Diva Wreath Kit. We've got a new silhouette uh, that's going to be coming out in about five days. There's been a request for um, a particular design that we have worked on, um, and we will be releasing that in just about five days. So, as a reminder, the new kit comes with a two-sided, two-tempered side, so you can paint or glitter either side, and the plastic wreath form, nine inches, still your zip ties, and still your circle. I think you guys are going to like the, the silhouette uh, that you can paint on either side. Thank you so much for checking us out today. I appreciate all of you all ordering. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to my channel. www.crafttcreations.com is where you go to order. Thanks so much and be blessed. Happy crafting.